Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of All The Fives, Five Live. And today we're going to be talking about VLCDs, or Very Low Calorie Diets. Now before we start, what is All The Fives, Five Live? Well, All The Fives is a show where we try and get the most detailed information we can on a very topical sports science or exercise science topic, and try and fit it into less than five minutes, aka a short video. It's very difficult because these kind of things need difficult, long, 10 minute long videos. But we're going to try and beat that challenge. Now, before we start, I must prefix this by saying that I am not a nutritionist. I am not a dietitian and I cannot give you meal plans and meal device regarding VLCDs. But what I can do is explain the science around them. VLCDs or very low calorie diets have become big in the news recently, especially amongst medical science. And here's why. Guys, if you're going to get any value from this, smash subscribe, smash like. Let's get back into the video. We are going to load up all the fives down below and we're going five live. VLCDs or very low calorie diets are often between 800 and 1000 calorie diets. Warning there, normally your diet should be around about 2000 to 2,500 calories. As I state, warning there, and they have been seen quite heavily in popular media recently, or mostly in the, in the scientific popular media. And with shows like How to Lose a Stone in 21 Days, see my review here, they've become incredibly in prominence, especially around the time of coronavirus, with obesity being identified as a key comorbidity towards dying from COVID-19. Now, likewise, if you from COVID-19, there are other factors that COVID that obesity is affected to. You can see that video here too. But likewise, this is not a fad or crash diet. These are based upon scientific information. And I mean proper scientific information. So the likewise that has been peer reviewed in a journal. So we're talking about the main two studies, that being from Newcastle University and another one by Susan Jem and Co from, from sorry, Cambridge University. Now note the European Union and others have stated that there, however, needs to be more evidence. And that's why the NHS, for instance, are doing studies on these. But these 800 to 1,000 calorie diets are not for everyone. They are primarily aimed at people who are overweight or obese and you have to meet certain criteria to even be allowed onto it. You have to be referred by a GP and in, they need high supervision. High supervision from a nutrition, a dietitian and possibly if you can a personal trainer or someone who's of training who can train you to do exercise because exercise is also important to do while on a VLCD. And although they are, if you like, a short fix they require you to change your life habit. Focus on the life habits to help you through this. Now, likewise, everyone is individual, so even if you have an obese person and you stick them on a VLCD, they may not necessarily be the best thing for them. And likewise, talking about the best things for people, these diets are certainly not for people who are not sound of mind. So people with eating disorder are not sound of mind. If you've been on crash diets and fad diets before and you're heavily your weight heavily influences your identity, this is not good for you. It's not good for people who are breastfeeding or pregnant women either. Now, likewise, now we got that out the way, there is a certain way you have to do a very low calorie diet. There are no rules. It's intuitive eating at heart to a certain extent. What we're talking about 800 calorie foods, we're not talking about a sandwich and crisp, which is 800 calories, but it would not fill you up. We are referring to high volume foods. And what we mean by high volume foods, we don't just mean whack the plate up with as much food as possible. No. High volume, low calorie foods. So for instance, this is an example of low calorie food that is high in volume. Things like salads, for instance, believe it or not. I know that's a very weird thing to say because people don't often assume salads to do with low cal. Well, they do with low calories, but not necessarily high volume. But they can be, especially if they're applied with meat. And we should focus on changing the life habits, changing the thing, the diet that the individual has. Now, most of the people who get pushed through to this don't have very good relationships with food. 
And I don't mean very good relationship with food, I mean they mean crash fed dieting. You should eat whatever you want. No, that's not the case. Often these people who have, for instance, diabetes, for instance, eat a lot of high sugary foods like Coca-Cola, chocolate, and don't necessarily have good education around what type of foods to take or eat. This is about lifestyle change and habit change. Now there are problematic, or it is problematic, for instance, people can often feel incredibly hungry and they try and then if you're hungry, you then try and eat something else. So it's about trying to get those high volume foods. If you can't do that, then don't try this. Try something else. It has to be done with exercise, cannot be done diet alone. And then you have to build it up into a process of building back into the calorie content. Otherwise, if you do this over a long period of time, which is not very good, you're not going to feel good and it will inhibit your actual function. Now what you're trying to do is trying to go into ketosis and that's trying to burn fat. So you burn up all your sugar content which is your first initial primary response, your carbohydrates, your primary resource of energy and you're trying to burn those fats. Now that is one way of doing it and it can be highly effective as well. But likewise if you're feeling low in energy, you're sluggish, dry mouth, constipation or potentially diarrhea, headaches, dizziness, cramps, and you're getting it from this, then it's probably best to stop or not even bother doing an 800 to 1000 calorie diet. But likewise, I am not a dietitian or nutritionist or even a GP, so I would not recommend this and I certainly do not recommend this for the average person. This is not designed for you. This is designed for a specific few who are able to do this, but more importantly, are psychologically well to be able to do it. If you've got an eating disorder, don't do this. If you're not going to look at it through a nuanced lens and understand all the benefits for and against, well, pointless, you're wasting your time. And that, guys, is what very low calorie diets in under five minutes, 55 seconds is like. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope I've been able to give the information and or the little information there is in a nuanced and individual way that's very contextual as well. But likewise, tell me what you think of the LCDs. Are they good potentially for the future or are they not? But likewise, with all of this kind of information, I'm going to refer back to that European Union meta-analysis which stated that we need more evidence. Yes, I know that's cliche in research, but that is the case in this case. It's a very new area and we need to understand it more. I'm Adam McCarthy, this is all the fives, five live, and I'll see you in the next one.